everyone the lone wolf here welcome to yona and i'm doing a little bit of mining um maybe i'll start out with uh, with uh, what i've managed to do this week um i've managed to produce two taloses and uh, three vexors not too bad now to be fair i didn't mine all the titanium uh, for uh, for those uh, five ships so I had to use up some of my reserves, but overall I, I got quite a few mining hours in there. I, I made a, a decent amount of isk and just from the mining as well. And I'm sitting on a nice stack of Mexalon <coughs> because I'm mostly focusing on Plagio Class A. So uh, yeah, the Mexalon, it means a nice bit of isk on the side as well. In the meantime, in Dodixie, uh, I had put up some buy orders for uh, stuff like Megasite, uh, Noxium and Zydrine. Um, for the Talos production and uh, most of it has been picked up if I look at my orders I just have let's say 40% of the Noxium that uh, that hasn't uh, come through yet <clears throat> so it does look like the price has risen above what I asked for it but I'm pretty sure that at some point it will uh, it will drop back and I'll pick up that buy order so this weekend I'll definitely head over to the Dixie and uh, take a look at uh, placing some new buy orders because a few of my Vixors in Solitude have sold and so I got a decent amount of money out of that as well. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good for uh, building up my uh, my industrial capabilities over here in, in Heisek close to the Dixie. And my brother came up with a pretty interesting idea because it seems that um, the Galete faction warfare is uh, not doing so well and they're, they've been pushed back uh, quite a lot by Kaldari's side. And so yeah, that means that uh, they just have a few systems um, in which it could be a very good idea to try and sell some Galente ships uh, above Jita price. So it's something I might look into if I find the time this weekend. <clears throat> but I am looking uh, at another game to play as well. I've been playing some Continent of the Ninth Seal, uh, but it's starting to be a bit grindy. Uh, I have a, a fourth video ready for this Sunday, but for this weekend I'm really looking uh, for another game to... Uh, to give a go and uh, maybe uh, try and make a couple videos from uh, from another game uh, we'll see how that works out uh, i'll keep an eye on the on the steam sales and and maybe a free to play uh, steam game not sure what i'll do yet uh, but on the general e front a new dev block has been released as well by ccp fox 4 it's about uh, changes CCP is working on in the AI system. Um, the first part is, is a bit technical about how they're developing uh, the AI. Basically they use normal Concord AI as a template and then from there they have either the normal AI for like pirates in the belts and in the missions or the sleeper AI. Um, and yeah, so they, they're, they're trying to make a new one which will actually change uh, the, the normal pirates and the mission uh, ships, uh, stuff like that and to make them a little bit different um, the reason they're doing this is uh, to get rid of some old code to um, fix a couple of exploits and to change what they can do with missions in the future that's pretty vague and uh, we know CCP is not the fastest of developer uh, especially with uh, missions but uh, yeah, if they can f uh, put in some interesting mechanics uh, thanks to these updates that would be cool of course um, now the changes aren't that big it's pretty much what you can expect making them a bit more sleeper like so um, they're going to work on them switching targets from time to time and uh, actually trying to kill some drones from time to time as well but uh, they've promised to take it very slowly to keep an eye um, and uh, to ask for a lot of feedback before implementing anything that could completely break the game for uh, for other people and my one worry about this is that when we get a, a new friend that uh, wants to give eve online a go we do like to uh, to at, at some point very early in his career take him with us into a level 4 mission just so he can have a feel of, of uh, up to what scale these high sec missions go to and when he can expect and work towards in the future uh, of course if uh, if all those uh, pirates all of a sudden start uh, targeting uh, different people that's a lot more dangerous and uh, yeah uh, ccp will have to be a bit careful about balancing this new ai uh, towards um, 
what newer players uh, can actually handle in some of those missions it can be very difficult and from time to time you do like to take some people that are underpowered for uh, uh, in these missions just so they can get to know them and experience them for a first time and uh, it's always nice for them i think to to be able to have a look at, at one of those uh, pirate battleships up close for the first time or to have a dogfight with a few of the frigates that do spawn in there and uh, that could be a, a bit more problematic if they change the ai uh, too much but uh, like i said the uh, ccp is planning to take this very slowly and uh, not to make any uh, mistakes that would really uh, start to cost uh, presumably newer players or that all of a sudden uh, you'll find yourself against an impossible mission um, so i don't think it's going to be a big problem but it is something to to keep in mind as well um, and i think that's it for uh, for this video you know we just had this dev blog uh, this week a uh, pretty short one uh, but it's nice to see that CCP is restarting with, uh, with the, the dev blogs and releasing stuff and information uh, after uh, the summer vacation. Anyways, that's it for me guys and I'll see you all next time.